get the show on the road. Put my hat back on because the silly thing will not focus on me sometimes, y'all. What the heck am I gonna talk about today? Where are we at? What are we doing? Oh yeah. Hello, I'm Eric. I make videos with my wife, Sandy, about living in Cuenca, Ecuador, showing you guys all the fun, exciting, cool things to do here at the center of the world. Mainly because we live here and you don't. Well, some of you don't. Some of you do because we've met you. And good to know that you're real. I know it's real. We like to make videos about cool, fun stuff to do around Cuenca. You like to watch videos about cool, fun stuff to do around Cuenca. So we make a great team. I never know how to react when a white guy does the running man in front of everyone. One of our favorite places to go is the Mercado. It's a really good place for us to practice our Spanish. We do some people watching and you can always find something really yummy to eat. And, well, let's face it, we all like to eat because otherwise we'd be dead. So in today's video, we're headed over to Mercado Diaz de Augusto. It's one of the most popular places here in the city. You can get a different variety of fresh fruits and veggies. Um, they have herbs and different kinds of fresh meats. They even have the exotic stuff like cow legs and pig's heads. <laughs> yeah, boy. They have several other types of vendors there also. There's lots of good times to be had at their Mercado. So let's get to the video. Mercado 10 de Augusto. First thing we're gonna do is run over here to the change machine. Well, maybe not. They've got some kind of thing set up over here. Look how cool that is. A little shrine or something. Pretty awesome. Gorgeous. All right. So there is a change machine behind there. So hopefully we'll be able to get some change. But look how pretty that is. Right. I'm going to say it's probably something for the Virgin Mary. I know they have a holiday here. Let's see if we can sneak behind here to get the uh, change. I got a little bit. Let's see. So right over by the elevator. Guys, there is a change machine. I guess it works. Yeah, there's no red So it'll, it'll take 10s, 20s, whatever. You put 20 in and it'll give you 21 dollar coins. Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Hold that. Jackpot. Right. All right. Are we in Vegas? I know. <laughs> well, that's good. It gives you a good mix. All right. So, thank you. All right, so when you first come into the Mercado on the bottom, they got all the different meats over there. Andy was talking about getting some fruit. The fruit's on the bottom floor. Pretty videos, or excuse me, pretty windows. I got a pocket full of change. Got all your beef over here. So, what you looking at trying to get, babe? I don't know. I'm just gonna look and see. Yeah. This is a lot of veggies, but 
We get some eggplant, some oranges, all kind of good stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I want an avocado, a pomegranate, and I don't know. Okay. Most of our groceries we get from the grocery store, like Super Maxi or Corral. Um, but yeah, there's a little produce tienda that's close by. But you can't get some better deals here, you know, at times. And sometimes it's basically about the same. I get all my meats from the grocery store. I just feel a little safer. All right. Granada. You always have her talking to your phone if you don't. We are still working on improving our Spanish and that's one of the things that's a little difficult when you come here um, if you don't speak Spanish but bust out Google Translate Whoa, that dude's loud. Do you want a picante? No. No. Okay. Okay. Um, Este se llama jengibre y este es jengibre. ¿Cuánto? Sí. ¿Cuánto? ¿Qué más? Sí, todo. Sí, todo. Para el día de mañana, habrá un evento por el día del niño, el CTM, el patio central. El día de mañana, un evento por el día del niño, a los CTM, el patio central. 250. Dos. Tomate de árbol. Vean nomás cuánto sea. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Cuba. ¿Cuánto dinero por el All right. So, 250. So, not too bad. We probably could have negotiated a little bit, but we didn't. Well. I'm going to look around while Sandy's waiting. Look at these peppers. Those are good, huh? Apples. I guess it is. It, it literally looks like color green. Yeah, I can't tell the difference between greens uh -huh. like that, so. Gracias. Nope, not color greens, yeah. cauliflower greens. Mm -hmm. So where are you headed? Anything else on here you wanted to look at? Um. Well, we got a. Really beautiful fruit selection over here. Let's see. See.
But I think Sandy's just still kind of hesitant to negotiate a little bit. But over here, they got plantains and bananas. A lot of good stuff. Yeah, those are really cool. Look how big these are. Right. Oh, look at those. Those are crazy. Look how big they are. Huge. Obviously, this is the banana, plantain, mm -hmm. whatever these things are. What are those, babe? Uh, papaya. Oh, wow. Look how cool those look. Yeah. Look at the piña. Yep. Beautiful pineapples, mora. Yeah. A lot of good stuff. But I, like I said, most of our produce we get from the grocery store. Um, I get all my cheese from this lady upstairs. Um, we'll walk over here just to show you guys where the meat is. Um, but again, just because I feel a little bit more safe getting my meats from the grocery store because they're refrigerated. I buy most of that stuff from Super Maxi. Got some really beautiful strawberries. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So over here guys we got all the different meats you can get choose from, some cheeses, get you a cow leg if you want it. More red meat and pork over here. Lots of pork over here. Get you a couple of pig heads if you want to eat those. Legs, get your ham. It's probably pretty good, but I would definitely recommend coming earlier in the morning. I got a little bit of refrigeration over here, but it's pretty big as far as you can see, really. It is lunchtime. Everybody's kind of getting their grub on. Can't blame them. We had a late breakfast today, but I'm also a little hungry also. Got more ribs, some more ham, it looks like right there. The Policia. But yeah, pretty good, pretty good stuff. Oh, there's a chicken. So this is the chicken side over here. Um, what's really cool about a lot of this stuff is if you pay attention, they'll already have the prices kind of marked for you. So you'll, you'll kind of have an idea of, of what it's cost. And you know, at that point, there's no real negotiation when they already have the prices kind of marked. All right, let's go upstairs and get some cheese. I like this uh, elevator. It's pretty neat. They, uh, like I was saying, they do a they do a really good job of all the different kind of art here. Oops, sorry. But yeah, it's always pretty cool, huh? If we owned a house, I would have somebody come and do murals on all of our walls. Right. All right. So, this way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, get you some seafood crabs. This is really my favorite market. They have a lot to choose from, and it's, you know, pretty good quality, too. It seems like the produce here and the things here are a little bit better than some of the other ones. And you're, you know, given towards local. Like we always, what is it? Small business. Support small business yeah, and buy support. local. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a little bit more produce up here. Um, I'm going to sneak around so you can get an opportunity to kind of squeeze oh. through. We'll circle around and see if we can check out that one vendor that you like in the oh, corner no. over here. She's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Got some what, like pumpkin, different kind of limes. The lemons here we found out are green, but yeah. you can tell by the size. They say that the big, the big ones that look like limes, but they're ginormous. Those are the Meyer lemons. 
good to know. Banana leaves for, you know, wrapping things. They kind of wrap their tamales here in banana leaves instead of the corn leaves, we found out. It's just a different technique and style. After, yep, lots of pretty veggies over here. Yeah, they look pretty good. Super fresh today. Yeah. Look how pretty those uh. Sweetheart. Yeah. The uh. Ramalacha. Look those beets. I was about to say, yeah, these beets are gorgeous. Look how pretty those look. Big old cabbage. Yeah, a lot of really pretty stuff. More fruits, but now we're going to circle around to my cheese lady because it is good. Oh, she's got some customers over there. We'll hold back and wait. Yeah. Hola, como estas? There's the corn husk. Yeah, so they do have corn husk that you can buy to do your tamales that way also. Walk over here. Get some of this. Oh. <laughs> it's got a traffic jam. Yeah. Hola, buenos tardes. Como estas? Oh. The Elena de uh, is a is queso con mucho sal. Queso? Sí. Oh no no, uh, no. vegana. Uh, sin queso. Yep, that's it. Yeah. Um, ¿qué es de nombre? Quesillo. 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 Okay, so it's the quesillo oh, cheese. Good. It is good, and it's right up there. So the prices are pretty clearly marked. Um, una libra, por favor. I come here and I get about a pound of it, so that um. A usted le gusta esto. Sí, es muy bien. <laughs> but costs two twenty-five or two twenty. And we also get her little fruit bars here too. Those things that we showed you guys the other day? Yes. See, uh, uno? Dos. Dos? Por favor? Okay. Yeah. Cuanto todos? Dos, tres, cuarenta. Cuarenta, cuarenta, is three forty, I think. So. So if you're at the Mercado, come to Miss Elena's. Okay. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Oh, it is so good. This cheese is really like the closest cheese that I found to, I think it was called Sanguli cheese in Georgia, where it's really light and airy and like just super salty. Um, I've just been hooked on that stuff since we left there and it is delicious. I couldn't even find anything like it in the States. It's okay, the photo. But yeah, she makes some like, of the look, really you can see good. All the air bubbles in it. It's so nice. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Ciao. These. I don't know what they're called, but they are my favorite. They're, I think they're in the potato family, but they're really good. I'm going to go ahead and stick they, this. Miyoko. They're called Miyoko. Similar uh, patata. You want some? Si. You want some? Si. Cuanto cuesta? Un, un por, dollar. Por cuanto? Por, por, oh, this. the back? Yeah. Okay. So, right. sorry. Oh, un dollar. Ah, oh, nope, that's a quarter. Look at that. Okay. Oh. Muchas gracias. Oh, look at that big pumpkin thing oh right my there. Gosh, look at that. Wow, that's really cool. Huge cabbages, look at those things, they're ginormous. All right, so now you can get eggs, chocolate here. Oh look, they got more of those bars. Yeah, 
a lot of good sweets here. You know? I think I want to... Let's see. And then, and then if you don't want to cook, you can come up here and get like cooked lentils, cooked beans, cooked corn. It's all like right around the corner. Yes, yeah, Malta, a lot of different, you know, I guess legumes and beans and they have so many varieties of corn here. They got, yep, there's your lentils and their corn and the beans, but yeah, it's really cool. They have a little mix bag that I get here sometimes, but I don't see any right now. Yeah, little mixed veggies is really easy just to kind of throw it into a pot when you're making different things. Oh yeah, it's like that right there. <laughs> but, uh, so. Those are the beans that are in that stew at Moliendo. That looks like the bean. Oh yeah? Yeah. Cool. So I'm gonna walk over here just to kind of point around some stuff. So on the upper level is also where you can get a whole lot of different kind of cooked food. You get a Muerzo's up here, pretty cheap. Uh, this end, I think they do a lot of uh, seafood. Uh, they do different kinds of Hornado over there on the other side, like all the way over there underneath that really pretty window. They got Hornado. Um, over here, it's mainly different kinds of juices. Probably grab a juice maybe um, if you want to when we get done. But yeah. I wanted to go sh look around at the uh, little market they have over here. It's they, they got just different kinds of like clothing and I'll see if I can find a bracelet that I've been looking for. Just a little beaded simple or maybe a little leather banded bracelet. Um, let's go. So yeah, let's go check it out. They sell beer over there. Yeah, always a good time to have a Always good to have a cold beer. It just smells like some kind of fresh herbs. Now it is a Wednesday, so I'm not sure if everything's going to be open, but we'll find out. Maybe I can find a skirt. You never, you never, you never know. Go down that one first. Just go. Uh, I don't think. I'm not sure if anything's open over here, but we'll find out. Let's look around and see. So they can sew over here. Little uh, chocolates and candies on this side. Oh yeah. So it looks like they can sew over here. And they kind of make you stuff. They got these homemade little hats. Wow, really neat. Maybe get you some different kind of ideas of what all you can get at the Mercado. Different kind of purses and bags and jackets. Oh yeah, different kinds of, look at all the thread they have over there. Wow, really cool guys. Uh, looks like these are gonna be hats and all kind of little stuff like that. Get you a sombrero. I already have a couple. Those are some good looking hats though. Hola, como estas? Yeah, I like uh, these little white ones. Almost like a, well, like the Panama hats that I've already got. And I couldn't think of the name. What they call that other hat? That, uh, oh, I can't think of the name of it. Oh well, it'll come to me later, guys. Baseball caps. Yeah, a lot of cool little baskets. Really cute. Yep. Get you some underwear. Looks like it's the same. More hats and clothes over there, but not really looking for clothes. I'm looking for a bracelet. Oh, we got some jewelry. Here we go. Now we get warmer. Different kinds of electronics. Just kind of rings. Wow. So, well, this is getting our hair did. All kinds of stuff over here. I didn't even realize it was over here. Hola, como esta? Uh, yep, this is more like a beauty area. You know, they got your brush over here you've been looking for? Be a wood. No? All right. Well, those like offices over there. Oh, and get you some Jordans. I don't know if they're real Jordans or not. 
I'm always curious at some of these shoe places if they're actually, you know, the knockoffs or if they're the real ones. But yeah, pretty cool. I'm not sure where Sandy's headed to again because that's what she does. She just wanders away from me. <laughs> well, they got a ponchos. All right, so I think we're gonna have to go look in another area to find the bracelet. I know, did you wanna look for your Palo Santo and that kind of stuff over there um, or not? across the street. No, there's some down. right over here where we got it the other day. Where we got no, it with uh, I want the bigger Edward. bottle. This okay. is like just a little teeny tiny Well, we'll walk bottle. over there anyway yeah. and just kind of show the people that they can get that kind of stuff here at the Mercado also. Yeah. So when you're upstairs and you head over towards this far wall, they have all these different really cool herbs, flowers. Let's look at some of this stuff. Wow. Look how pretty all this is. Hola, como estas? I know, those are really pretty. Um, over here also. Yep. And lavender. So, and here's all the different kinds of essential oils and the scents, I guess. Sandy got some stuff here the other day. She said it was pretty good. And we were able to negotiate the price for like a dollar fifty. Turmeric. Really pretty flowers. But yeah, so all this stuff is over here. Certain brand. Different kind of. Found a certain. Get you some cactus, and aloe, a lot of natural remedies over here. Um, so this stuff over there we found out was when the ladies are doing the little uh, spiritual thing where they're cleaning you, your, you know, your, your bad juju off or whatever, and they, you'll see them kind of like doing the smoke around them, the sage, and then like they beat on them with some uh, flowers and sticks and stuff like that. They get most of that stuff over there. Here's the food area again. Don't know what happened to my wife. She come, is so hard to stick with me. I have no idea where Sandy's gone. Oh well. I mean, what do you do? <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess I should go find her. All right. Oh my God. Who needs a toddler when you have a wife that just wanders away? Oh, luckily she does other thing way down there. All right, so we're gonna go back through these flowers and herbs, but yeah. It smells so good over here. Sneak through this area. Hola. Well, that's okay. That's okay. At least a good video talking about a toddler's comparisons to my wife. <laughs> Both will just disappear on you in a heartbeat. I was on a mission. I was trying to find my Palo Santo and they didn't have it. Um, all right, so we're going to head down to the lower level now. Let's see if they got the bracelets that I've been looking for. If not, um, I'm pretty sure there's a vendor over by San Francisco Plaza that'll have them. You know, always, you know, good security at the Mercado. So, oh yeah, here's the shoe area. Man, look at all these shoes, guys. We got tons of shoes over here. Wow, boots. Good place to come look for some shoes, I guess, if you need some. See, there's the Air Jordans, but I'm not sure if those are the Jordans or not. 
Man, we got some Nikes. Whole bunch of shoes. Wow. Oh, hola. Como estas? Uh, I'm not sure if those are real Converse or not because the name was kind of like, Buenos, como estas? <laughs> hola. Wow. I think this might be the place I come to try to find my shoes because I kind of wanted to do a, you know, knockoff shoe shopping spree. But yeah, always super nice people in Ecuador, right? Yeah, I'm not so sure these All Stars are real Converse, but they look pretty real. They're pretty close. <laughs> Get your. Yeah, this is kind of what I've been looking for, but not exactly. A little thicker, a little bigger, a little bit bigger. Yeah. All right. Still no bracelets that I'm exactly looking for, but we're going to keep looking. Wow, look, they got some. Really cool hats and leather. Actually, Ecuador is known for making really quality leather products. Um, up towards the north, I think, in Atavalo in that area. And then back to the other side. Of course, they got to have your cooies. Aw, look at them down here, too. Yeah, little cooies. Pretty cool. Yep, llamas. They have wild llamas all over the place here. You can go up to um, the Cajas and you'll see llamas up there. Well, I know. Let me walk around this one side over here and see what they got. More oils. This is on the outside. We're on the street side now, the Mercado. It's been raining, so we're trying to do a lot of stuff underneath the roof as we can. So a needle and thread. Guys, it was really hard for me to find a needle and thread, so good to know they got it here at the Mercado too. Still trying to find bracelets. They got everything that you can think of. Hair bows, and hair ties. Whoa, I found a whole bunch of bracelets right here. So let's see what they got. Yeah, here, hold this. Hola, como esta? Hola. Sí, presito. Trying to find some stuff like this. Ooh, I like this one. Yeah, I like I like this one, it's, but it's kind of loose. Oh yeah. Let's see. I think, oh man, they got some really good clippers over here too. Guys, I have been hunting a pair of nail clippers like this. Hey, I don't want to uh, date myself, but girls, do you remember that perfume? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's taboo. But yeah, I have been looking for a pair of clippers, Ooh, like a like a like a big pair of clippers that have a file in it, That's like awesome. this, you know. Um, so I think I may end up getting one of those, but they actually have some pretty neat ones over here. Here. Oh shoot! Come on, phone work. So yeah, a whole bunch of really cool ones. And the ones at uh, the grocery store, like Super Maxi, I bought were kind of pricey. I don't know, guys, what do you think? I think maybe one of these big ones like this. How about this one? Yeah, this will work. Quanto? Okay. So, dollar fifty for that. Hey, it's Aloha. Alola, yeah, pretty cool. Okay. Dos dollars. Dos. 
All right, so that's two dollars, and let's see. Man, they've got so many different bracelets to choose from, but I was looking for one that was more neutral, more guy-like. I don't know, and a little bit bigger, honestly. Let's see what they got. Okay. So, hold on. You're, you're cute. And let's see what else they got over here. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and get one of these if I can figure out how to get it off. Ah, I found it. I, f I found it. Okay. Oh yeah, it's adjustable. Yep. So maybe only quanto por ya? Este vale igual dos dólares. Dos? Este vale eh, es muy caro. Este es a dos, así. Dos toros? No, dólares. Un dólar. Sí. Este también dos dólares. Es muy pequeño. Eso. No sé si abre. Yeah, I like those big ones. Ah, okay. Muchas gracias. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. me gustaría... 5.50. 5.50 yeah. por todos? Sí, todos. Okay. All right, so 3.50. Cinco. Oh, five, yeah. I think I got... I think I got five. Did you get the stuff? No. Or no? Oh, you didn't want to get that? How much were your clippers? They were like a dollar fifty, I think. So... Cinco. Cincuenta. Ok, muchas gracias, gracias señor. Gracias. Muchas gracias, pero... Alright, so we got my bracelets. And we got some nail clippers. Oh, he's got a broken bottle over there. Alright, so we're good? Ok. So... A little bit of a... Up close what I got. So I got two cool bracelets and the clippers, you know. But yeah, I like them. I'm happy with it. May have paid a little bit too much for it, but you know, it's okay. It was only $5.50 and you know, and it's good to support the local vendors here. You know, they're out here working hard, so I'm happy to help out. So as you can see, it's always an adventure at the Mercado. So many different things to see and experience. We hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give it a like, leave us a comment. We always enjoy you know, replying to the comments, getting to know people. If you're new to the channel and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss our next video. All these things really help support our channel and we are always very grateful for the help and support. We hope everyone has a great week. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.